is so the FBI informant what Alex Smirnoff is in court for lying to the FBI. Funny that his last name is Smirnoff, and he was trying to smear the Bidens. Tonight with several developing stories, that passenger plane flying over the U.S., the emergency landing, what they saw on the wing of the plane. But we do start with the news just coming in tonight. The former FBI informant charged with lying about President Biden and his son Hunter and Ukraine. That former informant in court late today. The informant who made claims about Hunter Biden and his father, Alexander Smirnoff is his name. And tonight, what authorities now say the informant has told them about his connections to Russian intelligence officials who he says were feeding him information. Late tonight, the special counsel saying... How did the FBI not know that this guy was being fed information by Russian officials? It's pretty loud, in my opinion. And he must be kept behind bars, arguing he is a flight risk. Here's our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, leading us off tonight. Tonight, federal prosecutors say the former FBI informant, accused of spreading lies about Joe and Hunter Biden, has admitted that officials associated with Russian intelligence were involved in passing a story about the president's son. The informant, Alexander Smirnov, was arrested last week and is being charged with lying to the FBI, claiming that the Bidens accepted a $5 million bribe from Burisma, the Ukrainian energy company where Hunter Biden once sat on the board. House Republicans have used that story as a justification in their efforts to impeach President Biden. Prosecutors now calling it a fabrication. In a new yeah, definitely a fabrication. It's funny how anytime right wingers try to go after Biden or Hunter or anybody else, their stories always come out to be lies. But when it's on the right wing side, their crimes are never found out to be lies. It's always found out that they're committing crimes. New court filing special counsel David Weiss describes Spiridov as a longtime FBI informant of 10 years who spoke with his handler nearly every day. And alarmingly, they note that his efforts to spread misinformation about a candidate of one of the two major parties in the United States continues. In fact, Special Counsel Weiss claims that Smirnoff was actively peddling new lies that could impact U.S. elections after meeting with Russian intelligence officials in November. Tonight, Smirnoff is asking a judge to release him pending trial. But prosecutors called him a flight risk, saying he has... Yeah, if they let him go, he's going to uh, run to Russia as fast as he can. He has over six million dollars in liquid funds. Well, the government needs to seize that. Access to more than six million dollars, and noting that his ties to foreign intelligence agencies could resell him outside the United States if he were released. David, the special counsel believes Smirnov is a flight risk, and wanted him in jail pending trial. But tonight, a federal judge is ordering Smirnov released under strict conditions. He must give up his passport. He must wear an ankle monitor and he is not allowed to travel over.